So the spoilers for One Piece Chapter 1112 have arrived, and our three-week break is finally over. Honestly, I didn't even realize when those three weeks passed. Anyway, in this chapter, we're going to see Luffy versus Jupiter. Yeah, that's the same sandworm that Dory and Brogy had cut, and yes, it has regenerated. So let's get started. Chapter begin with a continuation of the Wano cover story. With this installment, seeing Kinemon making a request to Yamato on the cover. It's not specified what this request is in spoilers, but it most likely has to do with either Mamanosuke or a section of Wano that has become lawless or rebelled against Mamanosuke's rule. Returning to the Egghead arc, the spoilers begin by claiming that Gorosi member Ethan Baron V. Nushiro defeats all of the Mark III Pacifices on the island. We had last seen him in Chapter 1110 in a half Bakatsu state where he retained the human form of his upper body. This allowed him to go around and attack the Pacifista with freezing cold sword slashes, successfully reducing the number of Pacifistas by half. Then see Vegapunk York, the traitor amongst the satellites, leading Gorosai member St. Marcus Mars to the monitor room. She was rescued by him in Chapter 11, 11 from the lava phase where the Straw Hats had held her captive. Mars then destroys the setup, expecting the broadcast to stop. However, the broadcast doesn't stop and the clock keeps ticking. Mars hears a sound in the distance and chases in its direction. This is most likely some sort of mechanical or electronic noise, which he likely suspects as being responsible for keeping the broadcast going. Meanwhile, Luffy has seemingly begun fighting the Gorosai yet again. Specifically, St. Shepard drew Peter in his sandworm form. It's unclear how Luffy began fighting them again despite being last seen running away from them with Dory and Brogy. It is possible that the elders caught up with them since they are unaffected by the flames from the explosion and are basically immortals. Luffy is nevertheless said to attack Jew Peter and St. Topman Warkiri here. However, the alleged spoilers state that Luffy gets hurt while battling Warkiri. The tech spoilers don't specify how and to what extent Luffy was injured, but it doesn't seem to be life-threatening. Then shift focus to Jewelry Bonnie's group, who were last seen preparing to fight some Marine Vice Admirals as they rendezvoused at the giant warrior pirate's ship. However, while she and the others are fighting these Marine forces, Nujiro then appears, seemingly set to fight them in the subsequent release. And perhaps he'll even attack Bonnie, because he needs to regain control of Pacifista by killing her. But Sanji is advancing towards Bonnie from the right side of the island, and he has already covered quite a distance. So could it be possible that instead of Zoro versus Nujiro, We'll have Sanji versus Nujiro. What will happen next will only unfold in the upcoming chapters. Focus then returns to Marcus Mars, who has made his way to Punk Records via flying in his It's a Maid form by the end of the issue. He says something to the effect of Vegapunk having no luck, but something then catches his eye and he looks up. This could pertain to the entry of the Iron Giant into the battlefield, who was seen fully awake in the last chapter and mumbling an apology to Joy Boy. However, both One Piece Chapter 11, 12 spoilers and the chapter seemingly end without exactly revealing what Mars saw in Punk Records. It's at least confirmed that there'll be no break next week, and the series is also getting a jump cover and color spread. Now, what will that giant robot do? And will Vegapunk's message be delivered? All of this will unfold in the upcoming chapters. But man, Oda Sensei has always utilized time as a proper tool in the last fight of each arc, and he's doing it again here. And I sincerely hope we get to know what Vegapunk wants to convey. Because, you know, 25 years later, we'll finally get some answers. Oda will reveal Vegapunk's message as he writes it. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it, comment on what you think, and also subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos. Until then, goodbye.